Hey, I just wanted to uh, do this live video um, to see if anybody else has this and to let people see what it was like. Um, I got this Worlds Away uh, Voivod in the Art of Michael Langevin, uh, forward by Martin Popoff. Uh, this book came out a few years ago. Um, not exactly sure when, let me, uh, looks like 2009, and it's hardcover, slipcase, or, uh, dust jacket, uh, it kind of covers everything that Away did, um, up to that point. So I figured I'd just let people see what it was like, and uh, hopefully you like what you see, and I'm not sure if this is still in print, but you never know. Might accidentally skip some pages here. I'm trying to hold this phone and videotape this at the same time is kind of difficult. If there are any fans of Magma, uh, this is another band that I really get into also. They are fantastic. If you have not heard them, that is a MDK cover. Um, I don't remember what he says about them. Um, but they are a French band from the 60s that are still going on today. Try to speed this up. That was, uh, I believe, inspiration. Uh, Philippe Doulet. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right. should probably have some Voivod going on in the background, but I have done that before where I've had music in the background and after the minute mark, it um, sometimes will tell you, hey, this is not your music. So I didn't want to uh, screw it up halfway through and have it disappear. This is where I think Away's artwork gets a lot better, a lot more interesting. Um, especially around the Nothing Face time. I loved how they had a picture for every song that was on that album. That was honestly my favorite one. I'd like a poster of that. That'd be cool. Angel Rat was the 
absolute very first Voivod thing that I really got into. Um, around 91, I went to art school with a guy who got me into uh, Voivod, Last Crack, and Death. They had, uh, I think, Last Crack, Burning Time came out that year, and Death Human came out that year. And so did uh, Angel Rat. What a what a fantastic year for music. I personally don't think Outer Limits gets the respect it deserves. A lot of people talk about um, Nothing Face and Dimension Hatros and stuff like that, but honestly, I think uh, Outer Limit um, or Outer Limits is far superior to Dimension Hatros, but that's just my opinion. Especially Jack Luminous. I was in a band called Channels who were really influenced by Voivod. And I quit before we were done with the demo. And um, then it turns out that they ended up opening for Voivod a couple times after I had left. Which is kind of disappointing for me, but at the same time, um, you have to move on. And that it just wasn't the best fit for me. I thought Negatron was a pretty darn good follow-up to Outer Limits, considering they had lost Snake. I thought Eric did a good job filling in for both bass and vocals, and uh, I thought he did a decent job with um, being very reminiscent of early and middle period Voivod vocally. Some of these pages get tough to turn. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, but I don't want this video to be going on forever. And there are quite a few pages in this book. And hopefully this is still in print, so anybody who didn't know about it can still, you know, pick it up. Looks like Away had done a few album covers, maybe, I think, like this Black Hand Warmonger, not sure what that is. I believe this is the cover to Probot. I liked when Newstead was on, um, what was that show called? Rockstar Supernova. At random times, he would be wearing Voivod shirts, and I thought that was cool. Because you would never, ever see 
anything on regular television in the U.S. talking about Voivod, and there he was sitting with a Voivod t-shirt. Almost done. The heck? I don't remember seeing this before. <laughs> and that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Take it easy.